Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2024 Sunseeker 2400B Class C motorhome. This one was ordered with full body paint. It's on the Mercedes chassis diesel motor. Also was ordered with that Traeger cap at the top. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Sunseeker 2400B Class C motorhome here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is kind of a rear bedroom, bathroom setup. Living room kind of in the middle. And then obviously your cab area in the front. So let's get started here real quick in the slide setup here. So we have a U-shaped dinette that will go down make into a bed. And it does have pull-out drawers down below here. Full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers with soft close. Large window there. Does open. Electric outlet, USB charger port back there. Up above here, you have a big skylight with a pull across shade for privacy or blocking out the sun a little better. There is a large turbo exhaust fan up here, a couple speakers up here in the ceiling as well. Moving on back a little further, you're going to have a couple little pull out drawers here. going to have magnetic catches on these cabinet doors as well. Propane leak detector down there. There's an electric outlet USB charger port on the sides of the bed. Back here into the bedroom area. A couple more windows. Those open. Little directional reading lights as well. And some more storage back there. Down here on this side of the bed, you are going to have a heat duct blowing out down there as well. Again, some drawer space here. And then you have hanging closet across this whole back section back here. A little light up there too. Now at the foot of the bed over here, you're going to have a 12 volt 27 inch TV. It is a smart TV. Electric outlet over there as well. Light switch and your uh, GE thermostat for your GE air conditioner and your propane furnace. Now here is going to be the bathroom area. Against the back wall back there you're going to have a step-in shower with a pull across vinyl door. There's a skylight up above, a vent fan up above as well. There are AC and heat ducts both in here. You have porcelain foot flush toilet. There is a motion light down there. Let's get ourselves in here and spin around so you can see this side a little better. A little bit of storage sink area there, some counter space. There's also these little flip up and down hooks here. There's five of those in here, so you could you know, kind of hang some stuff up here if you want. And then you have your medicine cabinet area as well. But overall, it's... For a smaller motor home, it's definitely doable. Now over here, you're going to have your electric box with your breakers and fuses. You have that 12 volt Furion refrigerator here, which is a 10.7 cubic foot fridge. So you got the fridge part up top and the freezer on bottom. Now they do have an induction stove top there, a convection microwave here. And then you're going to have some more storage under here. And pull out drawers. And a 
apparently a dirty rag. On the side over here, you have a flip up counter extension to give you a little more counter space. There is also a uh, wireless charger port there, high rise sprayer faucet, large window. They are using the MCD roller shade blackout shades. Down here on the side, you're gonna have things like um, solar charge controller, which this one was ordered with. A auto level jack control down here. Again, this one was ordered with. Motion light, power awning button, battery disconnect. So a few things down here on the side. Up here, you're going to have the JBL stereo, little subwoofer underneath of here with a volume control for that subwoofer. There is a slide out button, some light switches, Arctic package switch for 12 volt heated holding tanks, some water heater buttons, water pump, monitor panel, hour meter for the generator. And then right up there is the gateway connect box by Weingarten. This has the WineGuard Air 360 Plus antenna on it, which would allow you to subscribe to like Verizon Wireless or one of those phone services internet and take the Wi-Fi internet with you and not have to necessarily just use your phone as a hotspot. Another 12 volt TV here. Typically, this has a overhead bunk area here this one was ordered with the Traeger cap, which gives you a little bit of storage here, but it does away with that overhang that sticks out over the windshield where the bed would typically be, and supposedly makes it a little bit more aerodynamic for travel. I did flip around one of the seats here so you could kind of get an idea what that looks like. The driver's seat also spins around as well. So you can kind of do that, you know, kind of depending on what you need to do. This is on the Mercedes chassis. I'll put a lot of this information in the description for you below. But you can kind of see here a lot of controls in your steering wheel here. Some stuff over on the door. You're going to have some little cubbies up above on your dash here as well and i think i made the thing think i'm talking to it as well it's trying to talk back to me for some reason a little bit of space up there I'm sorry but i can't help you with that right now so yeah that's pretty good but a very nice little setup here push button start cameras here one down each side and one off the back some more control stuff up there. There's even little cubbies up top here as well. But pretty cool little setup here. Now I want to go outside. I want to show you around the outside as well. And then we're going to come back in and I'll show you what it looks like with the slide closed also. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Sunseeker 2400B. Class C motorhome. Again, ordered with that Traeger front cap there, so it looks a little different than the standard model. This was also ordered with the one of their two exterior paint jobs available, or you can go with the standard fiberglass look as well. So kind of your choice, depending on your budget. You have a large power awning up there, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head, you have two JBL speakers up high, traditional porch light there. You do have little fiberglass running boards here. Power entry exit step. There is a pretty good size storage compartment here as well. Just above that, you're gonna have electric outlet, furnace exhaust, six gallon gas electric water heater. And this one was also ordered with the optional exterior TV. So that is a 27 inch 12 volt smart TV right there. Dual wheels on the back axle here. Just down below, you could see one of the dump handles down there, but this was also ordered with the rear jacks that are auto level. So you have actually 
four jacks, two in the front and two in the back that are again auto level jack system. It's a nice option to consider adding. This was also ordered with the solar panel on the roof. You do have that WineGuard Air 360 antenna system up there with that gateway connect again so you can subscribe to a Wi-Fi and take the internet with you. Down here you are going to have a little hitch. It is a two inch hitch receiver. It's rated for 5,000 pounds. So if you're going to try to tow a little car or something behind you, you could do so. It does have a seven way barbman wiring plug back here. However, that's only really set up for the four way flat system. They're just using the seven way. If you're wanting to put in a brake controller, you would have to do that separately depending on what you're towing. There's a gas line hookup right down here as well. You do have your black tank flush right here also. Up top there is one of your three cameras. There's a camera on the back and then one down each side. Coming around to this side, you can see the slide out system here. It is a slim rack slide system that rolls it in and out, 12 volt powered motors. It has a slide out awning cover to cover the top of that room. So it's helping to shade the room, repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. It is prepped right there in the top corner for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder that you can get aftermarket. Down here, you're gonna have your detachable power cord hookup, city water inlet. Um, you also have your hot and cold outside utility shower, cable inlet, generator exhaust out right here. You also have your dump area right here. You can see behind that door right there is the generator itself. And then right up here, you do have some storage up here. There's a light in there as well. Down below here, you're gonna have more storage. And in the compartment just in front of that is gonna be your propane. And then just in front of that, you can see that little camera pointing out the side. Now up here, you're also gonna have some more storage. They're trying to give you as much, it's not a lot, but it is trying to cram as much into all the small space as you got on these smaller motorhomes. It is a very windy day today, so hopefully this isn't too horrible sounding. Now you fill up right here. So there is a little door when you are ready to fuel up. You're gonna have some very important informational stickers right here, down your door here. Tells you like this RV was 9,946 pounds. Exterior length, 25 feet, eight inches. This one was built 229 of 24. Inside your door frames here, you're going to have things like your power seats, your heated seats, uh, unlock and lock, and then you got your windows here, mirrors here controlling that. Some things as far as like your lights for auto lights or on, off kind of scenario. Your salesperson will be glad to go over a lot of this stuff with you, but it is a very nice setup for your dash. And you even have nav and some pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff over here. And again, you do have that backup camera system in there. But overall, a very nice smaller motor home here to travel around in, see this beautiful countryside. All right, I want to step back inside here. We're gonna show you what it looks like closed real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the new 2024 Sunseeker 2400B. And I went ahead and closed up this slide for you so you could kind of see how much room you actually have when it is closed up. So you can move your seat back a little bit more to get yourself a little more leg room if you're a taller person. 
plenty of room when that one is spun around to kind of maneuver that seat and lay back as well. I did forget to mention earlier, this is the front cap light switch as well. But I could still walk through the RV, use the bathroom, load the refrigerator and stuff if I am stopping at a rest area or a grocery store or something. So the only thing that you really have a hard time using would be getting to the closet back there. And one person could probably sleep widthwise on the bed. And somebody could sleep back here on the dinette. And then if you get the version with the upper loft, you could still use the upper loft if you do that. So fairly reasonable to use this when not actually fully opened up for camping. So let's step back out here real quick. Just give you a quick look at what it looks like with the slide closed as well. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch this RV video. Greatly appreciated. Please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.